morning, Airsofters. Anthony here from Phoenix Rising Creations, and I'm back with another Airsoft product review. This one is going to be a sleeper Airsoft gun. I'm telling you, if you like to be a sniper, this one is one you might want to check out. This is the Dragonov SVDS by ASG. This thing is huge, as you can see. It's long. It is 90% made of metal. There's only a few polymer parts on it, but you're going to say, wait, it's a sniper rifle? Yes, this is not your typical uh, battery-powered SVD. This is a bolt action. And let's get into it. And I'm going to tell you why I think this thing is going to be an amazing gun. We're going to start at the front and work our way to the back of this gun. It does come standard with an orange flash hider with a built-in front sight. Now, you're going to see some wear marks on it. I did that because this is going to become a wastelanded gun for the apocalyptic events that I attend at Balhack Airsoft. But all of this here is metal. The foregrip is polymer. No battery goes up in here. It's just there for looks. It does have the adjustable rear sight, which is nice. It also has the railing there on the side that you can attach a AK scope mount. So if you want to put a scope on this, and I highly, highly recommend if you're going to get one of these to put a scope on it. But the top here, full metal, the lower receiver, the trigger guard, the trigger is all metal. The mag release is all metal. The grip is a polymer grip. And now we're going to move down to the buttstock of the gun. And in front of the buttstock, we have the magazine for it. And this is one of the reasons why I say this gun is going to be a game changer. This magazine, it's a combination of metal and polymer, but it holds 160 rounds. And to show you, I have some rounds still in it. As you can see, there's one right there. But this little door right here opens up. Ooh, more BBs. And then underneath, you have the turning wheel. So, 160 rounds. This is impressive right here. Now, I will say I have tried to find these magazines here in the U.S., even on Evike, and the exact mag that works with this gun, I have not been able to find, but I did find it overseas. They're only $13, but the shipping is $19. So, right now, I'm not in the market of getting any extra mags, one should be enough with 160 rounds. Now we get to the buttstock. This is a collapsible buttstock. It does have a sling mount right here, and it does have an adjustable cheek rest, which is really nice. The back end, this is polymer and right here, but it does have a metal end plate on it. This is a little rough on the pit of your the pit of your shoulder. So I'm looking at getting some sort of cover to give a little more cushion to this. And I did say that it is a collapsible stock. So we take this here, push and boom. Your classical stock, it does lock into place. And I'm gonna bring this back out and lock it there. Now, we come over here, and like I said, the cheek rest is adjustable. You can use this piece right here, pull that back, and let it drop, and you can adjust it. And it is only adjustable to the left. So this is definitely for a right-handed person. 
Now, it does have a safety. So this is semi, well, not semi, but up, you're not going to be able to fire. Select your switch right there. Once it's down, you're able to fire. Now, one of the other reasons why I say that this gun is a game changer. Most snipers work on specific springs that are meant for sniper rifles. The SVDS does not. This little piece right here, this lever, you pop that down and you can remove the upper housing. And inside here, there are two bolts, one right here and one on the other side. You remove those bolts, lift this up and slide this back. This spring that is on it right here is a M120 spring. And with an M120 spring, you are below 1.49 joules with a 0 0.40 BB. At the field I play at Bowhack, all snipers, bolt actions, DMRs are crowned with 0 0.40 BBs. I have also put a brand new M140 spring in this. And with a 4.0, I have a 75 foot MED, which is perfect. But the reason right now why I have an M120 spring in it is because I will be running this at Z6 at Bowhack next weekend. Now you're gonna say, where's the hop up at? Well, this is gonna be a little tricky to do, but I'm gonna show you. Bring this back, and there is your hop-up unit right there. It is a rotary hop-up, which is nice. And every time you rack this back, you let it go, and it does have a recoil spring that brings the piston forward and in gear nozzle to the BBs. So when you rack this back like that, bring it forward, you can see that the rest of the bolt is locked back. When I pull the trigger, and the only reason why it sounds a little louder than normal is because the upper housing is off of it. Folks, to have the ability with a bolt action sniper to use AEG springs and adjust your FPS or jewels is amazing. If you're starting out and want to try sniping, there are less expensive options out there but for the ability to use a, any AEG spring and the fact it has a 160 round magazine that comes with it plus when you get this brand new it will come with two springs a high powered spring and a low powered spring i'm going to put a link in the description for evike this is going to be my primary next weekend out at Bowhack while i attend z6 if you guys like the video content that I'm bringing you, please remember, click the like, share, and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so when a new video comes out, you know it's there. And for any of you that is going to Z6 next weekend, I hope to see you out there, and we're going to have a blast. Be safe, stay warm, and be kind.